Hello, this is astrologer coach Sonia Francis and today we're going to be talking about the upcoming full moon in 8 degrees of Pisces on August 31st, 2012. Now this full moon is special in the sense that it's the second full moon of the month and therefore it's also called a blue moon. Now, uh, it will be exact at 9.38 a.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time, which is the East Coast Time in the U.S., and 6.38 a.m. Pacific Daylight Savings Time, which is the West Coast Time in the U.S. Now, this full moon is uh, an emotional time. It's a time where we're extroverted, where we're wanting to connect to other people. It's a relationship time. And it's also a time where so some things need to be expressed that have been... Uh, underneath, uh, you know, simmering underneath and, and now need to come to the surface and need to be explored and talked about. And in this case, it will have to do with the Pisces energy. And the Pisces energy very much has to do with our intuition. It has to do with allowing for things to change. It has to do with, um, it has to do with connecting more more to our right brain functions and to our feelings and to our creative sides and to our spiritual selves and our higher selves and um, it's an ability to really see that everything is interconnected that everything is one now the Virgo Sun which is opposite the moon is on the opposite pole of things and therefore the Virgo Sun is more about logic it's more about you know seeing the details being able to analyze what's what and to understand things having discernment around things and knowing uh, when something needs to be separate and when it doesn't um, it's about the left brain it's uh, it's definitely about linear thinking and uh, with the Virgo with the Virgo Sun we're definitely more inclined to look at the practical aspect of things and to want to understand things beforehand and want to be prepared for, for what's coming up now uh, obviously with with this full moon there's a sense that we need to create a balance between those two polar opposites um, and so it's not an either or but it's really a how can we bring these two different energies together and make them work together that it's an end rather than an either or now of course it's the paradox of life you know that that things are always both things uh, whenever we have an opposition whenever we look at two opposites uh, in life that that the paradox is that that they are connected the paradox is that they are uh, you know when we bring them together there is an alignment so um, so sometimes you know it may take us a while to find that that middle path or to find that ability to, to see them as something uh, that is connected but if we if we open ourselves up and if we take our time to do that it can actually be very freeing and, and it can be a very beautiful experience to do that so um, with this full moon what's really powerful as well is that it's very much connected to all other planets in some way or another so that means that we're really needing to integrate all of our own aspects of life within ourselves and, and bring them together in some way um, there's also a connection between the moon and Chiron and Neptune and uh, it, it's very close to Chiron, the wounded healer, which means that this is also a healing process that needs to happen here with this full moon. We need to really see where are we getting triggered by other people and what are these wounds from our past, from our childhood that keep coming up, that keep uh, keep being triggered by other people and how do we recognize them and how do we heal them and you know with with the moon in Pisces and, and Chiron in Pisces it's very much about bringing a sense of understanding bringing a sense of forgiveness and bringing a sense of compassion and love towards our old selves towards these past experiences these painful experiences that we've had in the past when we were little so that we can heal them and and move on from them so this is this is part of this this full moon paradigm uh, and the other thing that's also very powerfully connected to this full moon is the sun pluto uh, connection which is a very harmonious supportive connection in uh, in virgo and in capricorn and so this is very much about 
us wanting to feel empowered and us wanting to live more authentically who we are right now um, and not who we who we used to be so we really want to become more authentically ourselves we want to leave behind or release all the things that are no longer authentically who we are uh, things that we don't feel passionate about we got to need to let them go things that we don't feel fully connected to and f that we can stand fully behind we need to let them go so this is an opportunity here and a chance to really have an ease around that in just fully understanding who we are underneath and and what we're truly connected to and what we feel truly passionate and empowered by and therefore then letting go everything else that no longer is in alignment with that and and moving forward in our lives with our personal evolution with also on a global level you know with the evolution of the planet in a more powerful way so this is really exciting so this full moon is bringing up a lot of stuff you know it's really about you know seeing you know seeing the forest and seeing the trees and seeing all the details of the trees but also seeing beyond the forest and seeing that everything even the the air that that is in between all the trees is connecting everything that is part of that forest so so that's really what this this full moon is all about so um, if you have any questions about the full moon in terms of what that is doing in your life or what what um, the, the energy specifically are, are about if you want to know a little bit more in detail feel free to email me at sonia at astrologercoach.com that's s-o-n-j-a at astrologercoach.com I'd be very happy to support you as best as I can and always feel free to book a reading with me to get support in your life to, to get support with connecting more authentically to who you are right now and not who you used to be and to let go of that um, either through a reading or through coaching um, I've mentioned this a couple of times already but it's it's now uh, coming to an end that my current rates are going to expire very soon and I'm gonna have new fees that will be in effect from the beginning of September on so uh, feel free to uh, to book something right now to lock something in before my new rates uh, will be in effect that way you can always you know do the reading six months from now or if you want to buy a coaching package now you can you know have that for the next three or six months as well and then that way that your fees locked in um, also for Labor Day weekend I will have a special I will have a 20% discount of my new fees so uh, as soon as my new fees will be on my website on September 1st uh, you can take 20% off that fee uh, until September 10th, which will be the Labor Day discount, uh, and you will get um, you will get that discount until September 10th. So uh, go to my website, check out what's available, reach out. I'm very happy to support you. Uh, my website is astrologercoach.com, uh, and have a fantastic full moon. Enjoy. Uh, connecting to yourself more fully, enjoy connecting to other people, and um, have a fantastic time. I will talk to you soon. This is Astrologer Coach Sonia Francis. Goodbye. <laughs>